All right. Let us get started. Um, there we go. Hello. Uh, welcome to the stream if you're just tuning in. Um, also, hello to, uh, to all of you on YouTube. Uh, thanks for... Thanks for watching. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. It is. It is spooky season, and uh, we've been doing a theme of of monsters, drawing drawing some monsters. Um, so I figure I just continue that today. Um, we've got we've got a uh, cursed. First ass eraser head <laughs> here and Gengar. Um and uh today I thought I would draw uh I can't can't point my my cursor at him, but if you look down below, uh we got Nosferatu. <laughs> Uh, looking very concerned um, but uh, yeah I figure I just uh, I just draw him and uh, uh, maybe maybe draw some another monster maybe a quick doodle I'm not quite sure yet I have I've had some ideas uh, culminating in the back of my head so uh, I won't worry about that too much for now all right. Uh. 
he might be a little bit difficult to do. I'm not quite sure. Gotta get my drawing glove on. So, fun fact, I only found out yesterday why... why, um... uh... when you use a, a drawing tablet, why using the glove, drawing glove, is a good idea. And I didn't know this at the time, but... apparently... Uh, so I thought the glove was to just, uh, keep sweat from getting on the tablet, and that's probably one of the reasons to use it, but, um, another reason would be to, um, let your, your hand glide smoother across the tablet than, uh, than your hand would. And... Uh, so that thought didn't occur to me <laughs> when I first got this tablet and it came with a glove. I was like, ah, I don't really need that. <laughs> I don't mind using just my bare hand on the tablet. <laughs> uh, apparently I, it also affects the sensors. Uh, I don't know that for sure. I don't know if uh, the type of tablet I've got uh, would be affected by that, but, um, uh, but I figure I'm, I should probably just start using the glove from now on. <laughs> I think I made his noggin big enough. Or I'm making his face too, um... I think I'm making his face too long, but he's got a pretty wide face.
pretty sure I need to widen his head a little more. the hard part, his face. He's got a very iconic face. And, uh, I'm a little bit worried because I feel like I'm not going to be able to do him justice. needs to be a little skinnier than that.
there's an easier way to draw his eyes and mouth. They're so uniquely shaped. draw the eyelids around them. It's probably the smarter way to go about this.
Excuse me. Well, that's one eye down. Uh, he's looking a little too friendly for <laughs> for being a, a famous monster, but uh, uh, he'll he'll get there <laughs> eventually. <laughs> he's just so far. He just looks like he's uh, he just noticed noticed us behind him. He's like, oh. Please excuse me. <laughs> like all polite and stuff.
he needs those, those thick eyebrows.
Oh! Hello, Vital Art! Ha have you drawn any other horror characters? Ah, uh, yeah! Actually, let me... Let me zoom out real quick. Uh, so... <laughs> um, so we've got... A cursed-looking eraser head <laughs> here. And, uh, we got Gengar. Uh, which isn't much of a horror... horror monster, but... Uh, but he's still... he's still spooky in his own right. Eraser baby, yes. <laughs> I, I am so glad that, that somebody in, in chat knows what this is. <laughs> It means that I am not alone in the knowledge of the cursed eraser head baby. <laughs> I just finished watching the entire Twin Peaks series like a month or two ago. Okay, nice. I haven't actually seen Twin Peaks. Uh, I hear it's it's uh, pretty good, but what did you think of it, if you don't mind me asking? It's pretty good, I might check it out sometime. I loved it. Twin Peaks Firewalk with me is genuine horror. For the longest, I was confused how a TV show made a film would be scary, or have high enough score that general moviegoers without any prior knowledge of the series would score it so high. But yeah, it's great. Oh, nice! I might check it out sometime. So, so wait, was it a, it was, so it's a TV show or it's a movie? I may have just misread. But. Either way, I would probably check it out. Two are TV shows. Fire is a film that came afterwards. Then season three was released 25 years later. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
excuse me, I haven't heard of fire before. Um. Uh, but yeah, 25 years in between, uh, in between seasons is crazy. Fire walk with me, that's right. I might as well just start on um, on the final version. This is the draft, but uh, oh. I was doing my own Inktober, drawing horror characters I like, but then gave up since I need to go back to basics of drawing boxes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, uh, I feel that. I actually just started getting back into drawing again recently as well. Uh, I used to draw a lot more often um, in like high school and college, but once college and jobs started kicking off, I just didn't have the time to draw anymore. Uh, but up until uh, about a year ago, uh, I started getting more time and uh, motivation to dedicate some time to drawing so I am kind of also learning the basics again <laughs> I just passed my first year of learning art last time I drew was probably in grade school okay well uh yeah art uh first year of learning art, meaning are you in art school or are you a self, a self taught, I guess, or, or just been, been drawing to yourself or something? Just start shading him now. Uh, oh no, I'm a I'm a grown ass adult with a career job that has no creativity. Lol, I'm self learning. Okay. <laughs> yeah. For some reason, my brain like read your previous chat message of first year of learning art, and my brain was like, oh, first year in in art college. <laughs> Uh, yeah, sorry. Sorry about that. But yeah, self-learning is really cool. Really cool. It is hard to, uh, uh, continue learning, learning art and drawing while also doing a job at the same time. Especially if it's a full-time job. Even with my, like, uh, uh, mostly part-time work, I'm, like, <laughs> finding hard to, for motivation to draw, so, uh, so props to you! Yeah, 
I, I don't know. I, when I, um, started getting back into drawing, I was pretty frustrated at the start, because, um, back when I did it more often, uh, I was a little more knowledgeable, and, uh, my stuff wasn't exactly super good, but it was definitely better than, uh, uh, than after I had quit for a while. Um, but even now, I'm not fully happy with how my art's been so far. There's still a lot of, a lot of growth to be, to be made here, but streaming, streaming art definitely helps me, um, uh, get the, uh, motivation to just sit down and, and draw. <laughs> to art. Thank you for the follow. Really appreciate it. Uh, looking at your, uh, your username, do you, if you don't mind me asking, do you also stream art? approach to art is different then. I'm not interested in making pretty pictures really, I'm more interested in the learning process. Oh, like getting into the concept of things, if that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. That's why I haven't really felt any dissatisfaction. Okay. Well, that's good. I'm glad that, uh, that, uh, um, that it's been uh, really fun and exciting for you to to learn to learn uh, new things about art. But everyone's on their own journey. Art means different things to everyone. That is true. <laughs> that is very true. Yeah, I'm a little. Uh, not obsessed, but. Um, I think I care a little too much about making my stuff look pretty or, or cool. And maybe beat myself up a little too much if it, uh, if it doesn't turn out how I expect, but, um... brush size down right. Um, lost my train of thought there for a second. <laughs> uh, uh, but yeah, uh, yeah, it's different for, it's different for everybody. Six is uh, important for me right now, but I should also learn to stop being so much of a critic of myself. Oh, I 
do stream art mainly. Keeps me keeps me consistent. I guess one of the advantages of streaming is having a place to vocalize your place in your learning. Sometimes saying things out loud will save you time in the long run. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, d I definitely understand the consistency thing. But I haven't thought about of the, uh, um... Uh, vocalizing and saying things out out loud while uh, while uh, learning and drawing. Um, I find it a little difficult to um, draw and talk at the same time. Um, but yeah, usually if, uh, if I want to talk to somebody, I usually have to, uh, stop so I can give my full attention to, uh, to that. Otherwise, I lose my train of thought. But that is really cool that, um, that, uh, that's how you, uh, um, how you learn and process. a bit unsure whoops um yeah I wasn't I didn't really have much of a plan when I started drawing this guy I wanted to um uh, recreate the grainy grainy old film um uh, uh filter I guess <laughs> Uh, I'm so used to using bold, bold lines that uh, anything else is like, ah, so hard to control. <laughs>
you can try an inking style to bring in texture. Inking style. Yeah, I haven't I haven't heard of of that term before. What is what does that mean? Does it mean like a like a, a textured brush? comic books. Oh, in black and white. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, the reference image that uh, I'm using uh, down, down below is like, not in black and white, but um, I wasn't really sure well, I guess I've kind of already decided subconsciously, but, um, uh, he's, uh, got, like, this, uh, shine or glow from the moon on his, on the side of his face, and, um, uh, and it's also got a dark background, but I guess I've decided to just, uh, do do dark lines all around him because of the white background. Uh, I'm guessing you're using CSP, the default real gen pen is good for it. Uh, CSP, I'm not exactly, I'm not exactly sure. Um, But yeah, I I use Krita. And uh Yeah, technically this uh brush that I'm using right now is uh how are they pronouncing? Sumi E? Sumi A? Sumi E probably. Oh, Clip Studio Paint. That's what that means. Okay, uh, yeah, no, I, I, uh, don't have Clip Studio Paint, unfortunately. Uh, I kinda, I'm still debating if I want to get it someday, maybe someday I'll get, I'll get, uh, Clip Studio Paint, but for now I'm just using free software, uh, with Krita, and I've, I've liked it pretty well so far. Has a link to some brushes for Krita if you want. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you can go ahead and uh, and uh, put that in if you'd like. I'm just gonna check that. Check that out real quick. Oh, I see. 
Oh, from the, the Krita YouTube channel, yes. Oh, I see. Why? Okay. Uh, but yeah, I'll I'll check that more later, probably maybe after after the stream. But thank you for uh, for for linking that to me. I haven't added any new brushes to uh, to uh, my workspace just yet. I just have the default brushes so far. Probably would have uh, some more fun with more brushes. I've kind of just found the ones that I like and use them religiously. for fun. The brush doesn't make the artist, but they can get you out of a rut if you're bored or losing motivation. Yes, that is a very good point. Yeah, I only started learning digital art uh, starting last year. Um, I had been traditional before, uh, and every so often I have the the uh, craving to do some traditional art, and uh, I find that sometimes helps me get out of a rut. New brushes will probably inspire me as well. time with this one wrinkle.
once I get to the shading, that, um, he'll look, uh, less friendly and more spooky. <laughs> he looks a little too friendly for a, for a famous monster. Two films supposed to come out this year? Oh, I haven't heard about that, but that would be really cool if there was. I haven't actually seen the 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 original Nosferatu film before, but I know the monster from from the pop culture references. what I should uh, watch for uh, for Halloween this year, the original Nosferatu film. crooked mouth than what I gave him here, so I'm going to see if I can fix that a little bit.
right, let's see what some shading will do will do to this guy. solid. Oh, that's interesting. Hmm. I kind of like it, but also, I don't know. Uh, I'll keep that one in mind. Thank you. 
something else. In the line work that I messed up on, I realized that um, his chin isn't as uh, long and pointy here as it is in the picture. I can save that real quick. Oh, wait a minute. I should probably be a little more careful when I'm using the lasso tool.
think I'm almost done with the, the darker shading. He's still got a lot of uh, blank space here that I need to fill in with some more detail. I think I also made his, uh, his pupil and iris, um, too big, maybe? And maybe I put it a little too high up here. As I'm doing detail and shading, it is becoming easier to see the, um, the mistakes.
Close to to done with this guy. Uh, I hate to say it, but he still looks too friendly. <laughs> uh, I was hoping that the shading would make him look more menacing, but <laughs> yeah, it didn't really have the effect I was hoping for. Oh well, live and learn. to do the collar.
Okay. Whew. Whew, I need a stretch after that one. Whew. Oh, but yeah, there's uh, Nosferatu. Uh, I guess he's a uh, more friendly, considerate Nosferatu. <laughs> Who uh, is very concerned about, uh, about his jacket looking nice. <laughs> Uh, but, uh, yeah, even though I wasn't expecting it to turn out this way, I still had a lot of fun drawing it, and that's, that's what's, uh, important, I think. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, I'm, uh, mostly pretty happy with how the shading turned out for the most part. Um... Definitely still need a lot of practice in that, but uh, eventually, eventually it will, it will get better <laughs> if I keep at it. But, uh, but yeah, um, uh, let's see. Uh, we've been going for about two, yeah, two hours. Uh, I think, I think now is probably a pretty good stopping point. Uh, but this was a lot of fun. Uh, yeah. Uh, I guess before I go, I just want to say thank you to everyone who tuned in tonight. Um, I hope you all had fun. Um, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the, uh, the quiet, quiet art stream. Um, and also a big thank you to the people who follow my channel and the... Uh, people who join the chat and uh, uh, Bido Art. I don't know if you're still in the chat or not, but thank you for for chatting and uh, for the uh, the good the good uh, art tips. Um, but uh, yeah, um, for next stream. So I heard that Steam Net Next Fest is going on right now and that's going till next Monday I think um so I was thinking that um that I would play play some demos uh for tomorrow uh I still need to put together a list of I, I looked through some of the demos a couple of days ago and saw saw a couple of games that I thought looked uh, fun and interesting so I might play those on stream tomorrow um and uh the plan next week is to possibly do another spooky drawing to fill up this uh this page more it's already getting pretty full but maybe I can squeeze someone else in uh next week but uh but yeah that's the that's the plan so far plans might change but that's that's okay um uh, but yeah uh yeah thank you all again for watching uh looking forward to seeing you all again uh next time and uh yeah i'm gonna let you go but i hope you all have a good Good day, good night. All right, bye guys.